I under I understand that uh, many things, many times over come about. The veracity could perhaps be into this. Windfall. People who feel there's always something for them. And it's true. When we think always, it's not, it does not always have to be something sad or blue, but it's not into this. That we are put in, or that we are left in, but we are given this. What is this? But more. And what is more? But once more. because it is continuous. It is like that. Mm. I suppose I should say some things they're better left than said. But we'll come out later. because it is not meant to be hidden and it never is. It is just it is nothing grand or special or anything. It is just that there is nothing hyped. There's nothing anything. It's just a it's just my blog, my life. Because you do not boast or brag about that. There's some sort of audacity with the way you do things, yes. But you do not boast or brag. And people will tell you to do things this way, that way. Left, right, up, down, sideways, under. Put on a frown. But 
no matter what, if you listen to yourself. I have known this all the time. Because if I didn't, I would never be where I am. I wouldn't be doing what I'd be doing. I probably wouldn't have been getting hurt so much. I don't mean necessarily to take so many risks with that. I don't mean don't be afraid of everything or whatever or don't be afraid of nothing. My hair is messy, yeah. Well, I have hair pin on on the top. And I don't believe in that idea that as a woman, you don't have to be, you don't have, you don't have to wear makeup. Yet you don't have to be all natural. You don't have to be one way or another. I believe you can do what you want when you want. Because that's what you want. And, um, you know, I mean, yes, uh, like Coco Chanel said that, like, I believe in two things, like, a woman can be who she wants when she wants, or, like, who, who she wants, or, like, the two rules, like, who she wants, and whatever she wants, and that's true, and for me, regardless of whoever says something, if something is well said, it is well said. You know? Um, sure, it could be a context, but if the words are simple and well said, then it is well said. You know? Because it, it is a quote, and if it's completely quoted in the quote, you know, and if it is not, um, and if it is not unabridged, then I believe that it should be taken as that and as such. I think that when people cut down trees, cut down living things, and cut down every thought, that comes, that could come from that, and cut down the oxygen we breathe, and even though we plant something for later, but yet, if the, but yet, if we're still planning, yet if the company that still does Sorry, just didn't take care of that. <laughs> Yet if the company still that still cuts down trees is still doing very well, they're just gonna cut down that same little tree that was just planted to take the place of the one that was just no, cut down. So for companies that say, oh, well, we, you know, Yes, we use recycled goods, and we also planted this tree, but yet this other company is going to cut down the tree in 50 years' time because we're going to need it. Or either that, or, you know, half of Earth's, all of Earth's resources are going to be gone. And yet, many people talk about it, and everything is talked about, and that's great and wonderful.
Most of the main. I do support people. I support other artists. I support every artist. For me, it doesn't matter which artist, who artist, who artist, <laughs> who. <laughs> so for me, it doesn't just matter which artist or that writes about me or anything at all. It does not matter to me. Because it is freedom of speech. It's completely acceptable in every way possible. It doesn't matter to me. At one point in my life, I was thinking about, because I was aware long ago, people were writing about me. Some people were making money off of me writing about me. And, uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter now or anything. To come to understand, to be a great human, to let things go, to let things come, to let things be, so you can have great sight in your eyes, in your mind. So wonderful things can take place in the future of things in our world. And, and I just, and even people have a hard time with everything. It's not as if that is to be unheard or anything. It is to even listen more. It's to even understand more. Because on Mother's Day, I remember more and more about all that my mother has done for me. And I could not do for myself. When she raised me again, I felt. And my sister took care of me too. Because of how, how much pain I was in. How I just... It was like a shutdown. It was a breakdown. It was everything. Everything was just down. Just horrible. And that's why it's important to understand every person. Because it is not about what type and every view. It's not to say I just agree with that and that and is to hear it and is to understand it and 
happiness to think. Because we have an opportunity to not be biased. And I think we have this whole sort of like in this thing. We, I mean, yes, we can be biased. Yes, we can be biased. We have a right to be biased. It's our individual goals and ideas and perspectives. But we have choices. And that's even better. Because we are born to choose and to think. And to use our mind in such a special and gifted way that we don't have to be biased. That we can take and listen to everything and to learn. When to look and see and think and feel and gain a greater awareness and an understanding because in listening to everyone and all people Because then everyone's voice is being heard. It is not to satisfy a demand. It is so... It is not to offer a supply, it is to offer a hand in need, it is to be compassionate to humanity. no sort of sovereignty at all about this or about anything in which I am talking about. It is not the thing. I'm not even going to dream about it because I take action day by day, even with a millimeter of a step. In tiny ways, to say, by a breath. And if it is to be that way until I feel I can help in a better way, until I feel I have 
more resources. And I will. I'm not afraid of the resources, no. I'm not afraid of that, or to work, or to do anything. It is not that. For every move we make is an impact. And you, when you make a step, it is to be firm and graceful. Because when you make a step, it is, think of everything that you step on. Because life starts from the bottom and then it grows up. It grows and then it grows up. Because think I would know. And then think I would know from falling down and crawling on my knees on a forest floor and seeing all the life I did. And yet I would know this from camping and from doing that. Children crawl. We don't know how much we kill when we're a child. Bugs, everything, how much we destroy. But that is an innocence. As adults, there's much more responsibility we need to take. So much more. So much more. It is not even in, to be in perfection. It is not even in self-reflection. It is perhaps even more the exact direction of, of this. Because there can be many paths and they could all lead the same direction in the same way they will. Yes. For everyone, yeah. But what is truly important is your impact and imprint that is left. People think legacy. No. No. Mm -mm. Hello. No. I think. I think people often so much want to fly, but how could you fly without the wind? Be like the wind. You do not need to have the wings to feel the wind on your skin and how refreshing it is. that and it's so beautiful and it's so beautiful it's everything that is life and it's beautiful it's just beautiful and it's just for people it's just for life so people can continue on with life. Yeah.
Und so. 